Hello and welcome to Spicy Toast Gaming. Today we are doing Misfor Misfortune versus Galio. Uh, this is part two of our Galio or Misfortune guide. Check the description down below if you're interested in part one. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. We have Misfortune at three stars, level 27. We're going with Ludens, the Scourge's Stash, and Chameleon Necklace. Now let's go see how Misfortune does against Galio. So Quick Draw is a bit better on Misfortune as every time she attacks she's going to be drawing a unit. Uh, but I think we can do better than that. Lion weight isn't um, terrible, considering most of your units are going to be three cost or less. And then higher education, just like before, getting that extra damage because we're going to be drawing whenever we attack. But again, I want to get something a bit better. All right, Nature's Revenge will be good. We're wanting to attack. Having more units every time we attack will be um, perfect, especially if we can get some other powers later, such as Yip's Genius or Explosive Entrance, but we'll go with this. Dauntless Vanguard is going to be a little annoying because we always are going to have a unit die every round because of our Ephemerals. Alright, so they're just going to end the rounds. We're going to do something that I like to do. We're going to play Monkey Business. So this is going to be able to buff up all of our monkeys in the future with that Hextech Fabricator. Perfect. So now they have Colossal Hammer. All of the monkeys are going to have that when they are summoned in, and that will be very helpful. So we have the Scourge's Stash, that is more for when we have the attack token on turn 1, or if the enemy attacks on turn 1, and we can block with the monkey business. That lets us get Misfortune out in the first round. Not great, but we have more Misfortune. Yep, not too much of a big deal. I've trained my whole life for this. See, this is a great thing about buffing up your monkeys with items, is just having a better and better card get summoned every single round. Um, if you're able to do this consistently, then Trifarian Might can be pretty good, because then the monkeys will just immediately take out a unit if there's one on the enemy side, uh, which is pretty nice. All right, so we're going to place a uh, hired gun just for a blocker here. Success gets you noticed around here. Not my first gun fight. <laughs> so we're making sure no overwhelm gets through, and then just the ephemeral is going to die. And now we're going to have enough to play misfortune. No! As well as our guys, jagged butcher. But not that good. Getting off the plunder effect oh, since we damaged the enemy nexus. And now we can just open attack. Love ya. So even if they had single combat, we would have just played a bunch of naked brains. And that could have finished them off. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. I 
think having a bit more champion draw uh, wouldn't be bad. And then also just more removal. This will deal three damage if we have a misfortune on the board, so that's not bad. I think we'll go with Heimerdinger here. Orn costs a bit too much, and I don't think Sorok is really gonna deal too well with all of our small units. And I think the Astral, um, or the Spring, Star Spring, and Orn's Forge would just clutter our board. And the items on these aren't too bad. And then we play spells a decent amount of the time. All right, we'll go towards the shop, see if we can get a decent power. So we'll hold on a Mystic Shot just in case we don't get our Misfortune. Our misfortune out no early. Pray. No pay. What do you see, boy? <laughs> we'll get rid of his barrier. Feel the shit fight on an empty stomach. My kind of party. This will buff up Misfortune, and that's fine. And now we'll have some more Powder Monkeys to do more chip damage to their Nexus. So they might be able to kill Misfortune with like a single combat, uh, but it's worth getting the Island Navigator out here to get that scout attack. And also helps fill out our board. Spell that? A fight to cook it! So I'm buffing one of our weaker units here because most likely he's either going to um, block and kill Misfortune, which is fine, or he's going to want to buy, um, block that. Island Navigator. Here he can't block the Fearsome, so this is more damage that can just get through that he can't uh, block out. <laughs> Good dog. So as you can see, when you go against those opponents that are really trying to scale, such as Crown Guard. You're normally able to just win before they can really get their scaling off. You're not as fast as like a Diana, but you're still pretty fast. Well, I think this will be decent for having it in our back pocket. The Siren's not bad, but really we need cost reduction to make it worthwhile. We're really not going to be getting a 7 mana, and if we do, we probably don't want to spend all of it for one card. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the consistency of Time Trick.
So not too many of our units are really going to benefit from this, but it is relatively cheap and it could help out a couple units. I'd rather save my rerolls for when we have a selection of three to reroll. So I think I'll just buy this because we're probably going to have more, than, more gold than we're going to deal with. Tasty Fae Folk is pretty good for cheap, so I think I'll just get two copies of that. So Slippery Wave Rider could be pretty good into Zoe, but I'm gonna rely on our other removal to be able to get rid of her. And I'm gonna cut Slippery Wave Rider. Just gonna count on us being able to win early. But it is a little bit of a risk because he can help you out in those longer matches. So we'll hold on to Heimerdinger. If he's in hand, then we have a higher chance of drawing um, Misfortune. And then also him ticking down could be useful in the end. So it would be interesting to play a different card here and hope that they play like a Zoe for us to challenge. But it's... I don't want to risk it, I'd rather just get the Nexus damage and then be able to play the one cost Misfortune and Jagged Butcher. Challenge her next turn. This should be good. All these units are fairly tough with Fury, so they potentially can kill one of these units in scale. And then we'll either kill these units or just be able to chip them down. You spurn my gift. Together, we can do this. Alright, so we'll play Fey Folk just so that we Hello. have some sustain. Hey, you brought back my favorite star! And we'll get a bit more chip damage down with monkey business. So there's not anything too crazy I want to play here, so I think I'll just use a Thermo Beam on Zoe. It's obviously not going to kill her, but hopefully we can kill her um, next turn when we attack. Oh, 
this is fine. Yeah, this is this is fine. Just gun. And now we can mystic shot this. And we'll just fire off two of these, and one of them should hit the Nexus. Easy. So Zoe is a little tougher for Misfortune because it's also kind of a swarm deck where they build out this whole board and just try to overwhelm you really fast. Normally against other decks like Diego and sometimes Galio, you're just able to overwhelm them before they can really do anything. So Reckoner's Mark can be a risk, but normally we're going to be playing it for one cost, and usually a 5-5 should be enough to survive, but it is a bit of a risk, especially if ours get killed with the player later in the game, but I think I'll, I'll take the risk this time. Yeah, we'll just go with this Sting Officer, give, it, give us more early damage. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, that's fine. Plenty of good early units. Alright, we're just gonna open attack, get some brick damage down. And they don't even want to play anything. And favors the pole. Yeah, if we had rally being able to attack next round would really be good. Yeah, we'll just uh, get rid of that. Never stop shooting! Attack. 
And we'll just try to finish them off with our spells. Misfortune is very good. Yeah, some of my some of my other videos, people seem to think that misfortune was bad, which I never really, never really got. Like, she's quite strong. She's definitely not anything crazy like... Yeah, we'll do that. She's not as crazy as, like, Jinx or... Um, Diana or Jax or anything like that, but she's definitely very, very strong. When I end up doing a tier list, she'd probably be, like, the bottom of A tier. So I'm going to play a Make It Rain here. It'll potentially be able to kill three of them, and then if it hits the Nexus, we'll get a free Misfortune. Perfect. That was pretty much the best result you could possibly get. Where are you? Nothing but powder monkeys. Alright, we'll do the Petty Officer to fill out our board a bit. Get that nice full board for the attack. What's that noise? So the good thing is, since we have Overwhelm, even if the units die from Misfortune's ability, uh, the attack won't get fizzled and they'll all be able to hit the Nexus still. This is an opponent that can scale, so we definitely need to try to finish them off as soon as possible. That is a bit rough. Since all of our units are relatively weak. You've got dangerous eyes. I like that. Not just the eyes, you know. Alright, so since our board got wiped out, I'll play the island navigator here. And just hope they don't have another one of those. The ocean charts our course. I'll take him dead or near in love. Ethereal the Middle Down. That's 
why I'm the captain. Not too bad, we haven't really struggled with any fight. Zoe was the biggest hassle so far. Ah, oh, this would be nice, buffing up our deck. We've never really needed the Flash of Brilliance, so I'll just get rid of that. We don't need the healing. No power in this world can stop me. So as long as things go decent, we should be able to win before Viego gets played, or like the next round. So I will just play the Misfortune here. We need the extra damage. Hey there, little one. And then also she might be able to level up if she can get on board the first round. Love ya. But yeah, this is why I wouldn't recommend any of the level up relics on Misfortune because normally you're not going to level her up. Bit unfortunate. Looks like I'm ready. Bye-bye. Don't get ahead of yourself. So we're just going to save him from the attack. We're just going to play monkey business, get a bit more damage, and get an item on one of our units. We might need to use these make it rains to chip down their nexus. Alright, we're going to play one of these to pop his spell shield. Diego down. Unfortunately, he's gonna get summoned back next round, but at least we got rid of his level up. So that's fine. Since we can play a zero cost misfortune. Nothing but powder monkeys. 
Slow and steady. <laughs> And we still had a Mystic Shot in re um, reserve in case we needed to do a little bit more damage to their Nexus. So the Spell Shield's not bad, but honestly we have a lot of her in our deck and we don't really care if she dies. It's not really a, a big deal to play more, so we'll just go for more damage. It's more important to win early than protect her. Sorcery, not bad. Yeah, I'll go for the item. Yeah, Misfortune has a very different playstyle than most other most other decks. Because you really don't care about your units. You're not trying to protect them like you do most other decks. You're totally fine with sacrificing them and then just playing more. And that even goes on to Misfortune herself. Hey Solari! Got a bit of moon rock for ya! Hey there, little one. Sun this, moon that, the jolts are boring. So play this just to wipe their board. We'll need to kill her because she can scale out of control with that focusing crystal. So we know a lot of these um, Targon decks have good slow spells, so we just want to open attack without building the board because we don't want them to play like a Crescent Strike and stun two of our units. Love ya. So we don't want them getting too many messengers, because if they get three, they start scaling a lot worse, because they, then they start making the fleeting star bones, which buff all of their <laughs> celestials. So since we have the free mana, we'll just keep trying to clear them every single round. Gonna play Petty Officer to get some more blockers. I need more mm -hmm. That's a bit unfortunate. You picked the losing side. I know what I'm doing. <laughs>
Yeah, we already have a good amount of misfortunes. The Mystic Shot to the Nexus will probably be more worthwhile. So with the Mystic Shot and a couple uh, Make It Rains, this should be enough to just finish them off here. Perfect. That's why I'm the captain. Our sight's always decent. That's not bad, because then make it rain is just gonna make another make it rain in most situations. Alright, so I'd rather go and try to get another power and then go to Dawn Speakers than fight the Evershade Stalker. That fight's normally more annoying. Yeah, that's not bad. So most of these are just too expensive. This could be pretty funny, especially against Galio, where you can just slightly damage a unit and then use this to kill them. So I think I will grab just two, because if I end up using it, I'll put more in the deck. Alright, let's take on the Dawn Speakers. So we'll buff up our monkeys. What did they get? Well, that's more or less useless, but oh well. That's pretty satisfying to get that off the board right away. So since they don't have um, combat tricks, I will spend the time to actually build out our board a bit more. I taste purple. Yay. For the honor of my house. I think I'll just get rid of this guy over here. So he's probably going to block the tasty fey folk, but we just want a little bit of sustain. Keep hope alive. Love ya. Our allies did not fall in vain. Okay. 
Be strong! These are dark times. <laughs> Today, we turn the tide of war. Yeah, I think I'll just build out our board with the island navigator. Words sharp as swords! Who do not doubt? Something to keep us moving. Yeah, I'll use this just to get them a bit lower, since we're going to get the free mana back anyways. Our allies did not fall in vain. So I think we'll actually soften them up a bit with Make It Rains first. So the reason I'm playing two is since the minimum health they have is four, even if they both hit the same target, um, it'll kill someone but it won't waste any damage. Well, I guess, I guess this is how it is now. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I didn't want to play both of those, but it looks like I can't get one of them, I can't get either one of them back now because the other cards are covering it. Great. Well, I guess we'll just go with this. We might lose some damage with them hitting the same things. So I'm just trying to get rid of some of their blockers. I want to end them this round. Bless is motion. I'll be quick. So we should be able to just end them here. Who will stand with us? Slightly annoying that that card uh, glitched, but yes, it's fine. That's why I'm the captain. So yeah, we really haven't struggled with any fights up to this point. Misfortune is fairly strong, but even though she's strong, if you don't end the game in the first half, you might run into a bad time. So Monster Harpoon is decent, but I think I'm actually just going to rely on Noxian Guillotine instead. All right, we're going up against Senna. We don't need two of these, but 
more misfortunes isn't bad. Especially since we can just use her as a free removal spell if we need to. You could say I got a life with darkness and light. So we could kill her, but I think I'll just use the thermal beam instead. Holding on to a couple of Noxian guillotines won't be bad. amount of damage down in their nexus. Love ya. There's a lot of darkness out there. Let's make some of our own. So since this is just gonna immediately draw us another misfortune and make another misfortune, I'll play a couple of these. to kill her now so that when I play the misfortune it's free and she'll just kill this other unit hey there little one and we'll build out our board since it's not our attack this way we can have a strong open attack next round So we potentially can just win right here. Love ya. Nice. So yeah, Galio normally is too slow with most of his decks. That misfortune can just overwhelm him. Alright, I hope that was able to show you how you normally want to play with um, Misfortune and just some of the general mindset you want to have while playing her in some of the harder encounters. Uh, she's definitely very strong. Uh, we actually were able to defeat Aurelian Soul. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description down below uh, if you're interested in that. But if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and uh, share it with your friends. See ya. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching that video all the way to the end. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. We're putting out multiple videos every single day for Path of Champions content. So if that interests you, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and welcome to the channel. Have a great day.